गुड मॉर्निंग एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट फोर थर्ड क्वेश्चन विदाउट यूजिंग टूथ टेबल प्रूव दैट थर्ड पार्ट पी एंड क्यू ओके आई एम सॉरी सेकेंड पार्ट नॉट थर्ड P or Q and P or not Q is equivalent to P. Uh, this is simple one. Use distributive law. So P or Q and P or not Q can be written as P or Q and not Q. But what is Q and not Q? It is nothing but false. This is complement law. And what is P or F? It is nothing but P. Had it been P or true, I would have written true. But it is P or false, so it is P. and the reason for this identity law see if you do not write these reasons you won't get full marks now third part you have to write solution here only uh, but before that let me explain p and q or not p and q or p and not q now consider these two p and q or not p and q i can write this as p or not p and q this as it is the reason distributive law now p or not p is nothing but true complement law so true and q is nothing but q q kyunki if q is false result is false if q is true result is true that is why q so effectively q or p and not q now again distributive law so q or p and q or not q q or not q is true complement law now what is conjunction of true and q or p q or p reason identity law but q or p is same as p or q reason commutative law so lhs is nothing but rhs just a minute i'll explain next part also in the next part you have to prove that negation of what p or not q implies p and not q equivalent to p or not q and not p or q uh, this is not difficult basically this is negation of implication what is uh, not s implies r s and this is s and not r okay now what is negation of uh, conjunction it is disjunction of negations right but what is not not q it is q that's it now we discuss an important application of logic uh, in case of switching circuits now what is an electric switch an um, electric switch is two state device which is used for turning current on or off what is an electric switch an electric switch is two state device which is which is used for turning a current on or off logic can be used to select the right positions and the number of switches in an electric circuit a statement in logic has truth value either true or false and the switch in the circuit is a device which is either closed or open if the current is passing through an electric circuit it is closed that is on if the current is not passing through it we say that it is open that is off we just a minute we usually show this is closed switch and this is open switch okay so in the first case this one current flows and in the second case current does not flow now we associate a closed switch we associate a closed switch with a true statement and an open switch with a false statement so that we can say that the truth value of closed switch is t capital t and that of an open switch is f now in electric circuit the notation 1 is used if the switch is closed that is if current flows 
and zero is used if the switch is open that is off if p is the statement the switch s is closed and if l is the statement that the lamp l is on then p is equivalent to l we say that p equivalent to l what does p stand for p is the statement that switch s is closed and what does l stand for l is the statement that the lamp l is on so these are equivalent now we discuss uh, switches in logical uh, rather switches and logical connectives now the first one switches in parallel now as per the convention this is the direction of current flow this is switch s1 now you may ask me uh, how can you say that switch s1 is open or closed because it is always open here see this is the convention and then we say that s1 is closed or s1 is open because for these two we are going to consider four cases anyway right so this is how you have to show the switches s1 and s2 in parallel now use common sense if the switch s1 or s2 or both s1 and s2 are closed then the current definitely flows through the circuit right but if both the switches are open then current does not flow through the circuit and therefore i can say i can say that switches in parallel corresponds to what disjunction so i can say that p what is p the switch s1 is closed we say that let p represent the switch s1 is closed q represent the switch s2 is closed and what does l represent lamp l is on so i can say that p or q is equivalent to l now we prepare switching table it is also called as an input output table for a connection in parallel see switching table the other name is input output table see this corresponds to table for disjunction so p q p or q so we consider entries true true false false do not change this order then true false true false we know that conjunct uh, rather disjunction is false in only one case or in this case we see that current will not flow when both the switches s1 and s2 are open if at least one of the two is closed current definitely flows right now instead of p we can use 1 and instead of f we can use 0 so we say that it is input output table first column headed by p second by q now instead of p or q i will write p plus q so 1 1 0 0 1 Zero, one zero. Don't say one plus one equal to two. Say one, because one stands for two. Will you say two plus two is two times two? No. So one, 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 one zero, one zero, one one zero zero zero. I repeat. This is called as input output table or switching table. Now, what can you? tell me about switches in series now the next part is switches in series if the two switches are in series then the current will flow through the circuit only when both the switches are closed therefore we have the situation like two statements forming a conjunction see this is not at all difficult parallel combination disjunction 
series combination conjunction. Suppose P stands for the switch S1 is closed, Q the switch S2 is closed and L the lamp L is on. Then in this case, the current will flow only when both the switches are closed. And therefore I say P and Q is equivalent, is equivalent to L, right? So the switching table, which is also called as input output table for this connection will be like this. Now I will not write that true false, true false. I will directly write P, Q. Now instead of P and Q, we write P dot Q. So which four combinations? 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. And this is like 1, 0, 0, 0. So current flows if and only if both the switches are closed. Otherwise current will not flow. Now the third important part, complementary switches. complementary switches. Suppose in a network, two switches S1 and S2 are such that whenever any one of them is open, the other is closed. Then they are complementary switches and S2 will be denoted by S1 dash. I hope you remember the notation for complement. In such a situation, we associate one of them with P and the other will be associated with pod, not P or P dash. So what will be the input output table for that? I can say P, P dash. Suppose P1, P dash will be 0. P0, P dash will be 1. Now what can you say about these complementary switches uh, in series or in parallel? Suppose these are in series. This is P and this is P dash. See, if P is open, current will not flow. Suppose P is closed, then P dash will be what? It will be open. So current will never flow. And therefore, this corresponds to fallacy. That is contradiction. Because this is P and not P. Is that clear? So I can say that P dot P dash is nothing but zero. I hope this is clear to you. Suppose these are connected in parallel, then current always flows. Why? Because if P is closed, fine, current flows. Even if P is not closed, suppose P is not closed, then P dash will be closed. So current will flow, right? Actually, this is P or not P. We know that it is always true. It is a tautology. Or I can say here that P plus P dash is nothing but 1. Is that clear? Okay. Now, the last part. If small t denotes a tautology and c, small c, denotes contradiction, can I say that P or T is nothing but T. Yes, I can. What is P and T? It is nothing but P. It is common sense. P or C is nothing but P. P and C is nothing but C. Uh, exercise 1.5 express the following circuits in the symbolic form of logic and write the input output table, which is also called as switching table. Now, let P denote the switch S1 is closed. Now you will ask me, but sir, this is open switch. See, this is the convention. We say that either switch S1 is closed or open. Accordingly, we consider two cases, right? Q, the switch S2 is closed and R, the switch S3 is closed. Similarly, not P, not Q, not R. See, in exam, you have to write this. 
many students say sir this is simple s1 or in bracket s2 and s3 you won't get marks for that these are the switches so first we have to say let pqr denote the switch s1 s2 s3 are closed respectively then you have to mention not p not q not r and what does small l stand for the lamp l is on now what is the symbolic form of the given circuit See, this is not at all difficult this is basically parallel combination so p r now this is series combination of q and r so p r in bracket q and r that's it corresponds to l so l is generally drop and can be expressed as what p r q and r now you know how to construct the table see if you are not comfortable you may use t f but in board exam you are expected to use 1 0 if input output table is asked so <clears throat> i hope you remember that 4 t's 4 zeros now 4 ones 4 zeros 2 t's 2 zeros 2 t's i'm sorry 2 t's 2 f's 2 t's 2 f's instead of t 1 instead of f 0 so 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 then t and f alternately so 1 and 0 alternately q and r this is basically conjunction 1 and 1 is 1 otherwise 0 here also 1 and 1 so 1 and then its disjunction with p now use common sense basically it is disjunction first four entries are 1 so write one directly now remaining four entries are zero so don't write zero directly because this is disjunction at least one of the two should be true so see the column q and r 1 triple zero so 1 triple zero so this is how you have to construct input output table i repeat that in the beginning you have to say let p denote the switch s1 is closed and so on uh, as i said that you need not write l for lamp l is on you can just say that this is p or in bracket q and r and then you have to prepare input output table now for the second what is the symbolic form it is not p and q or p and not q now input output table please check the entries p these will be the columns to be made p q not p not q not p and q p and not q not p and q or p and not q see just by observing this you can predict entries in the last column how so basically this is negation of biconditional now the entries in the last column for this uh, logical connective biconditional is uh, 1 0 0 so for complement rather negation it will be 0 1 1 0 right done now third one see this is not at all difficult basically it is parallel combination now in the first part it is series combination of s1 and other is parallel combination of s2 dash and s3 so in bracket p and not q or r why not q because it is s2 dash why or because parallel combination bracket complete or because this is the second branch of that parallel combination now in the second branch s2 dash and s3 dash are in series so not q and not r simple now make that input output table now uh, this is the um, input output table or uh, before that i think i have explained this uh, symbolic form is this one okay now uh we have to write all these things in one row so why not to denote this statement by one and this by two and in and the last column will be headed by what one or two so these are the entries 
Now fourth one, this is not at all difficult. This is series combination of first one, two switches in parallel, second is S2 and third is two switches in parallel. So it is P or Q in bracket and Q and now S3 or S1 dash. Now S3 means R or S1 dash means not P. Simple. So input output table, you may say that can we write, uh, we will name this as one P or Q as two, this as three and then two and three and one. Yes, that is allowed. So this is the input output table. Please check the entries in the last column. One, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero. Right now. Uh, now fifth and sixth for homework. In fact, uh, this is the symbolic representation and entries in the last column because there, will, there are only four combinations, one, one, zero, one. Similarly, this is symbolic representation for uh, circuit number six. And these are the entries in the last column of input output table. Now, second question, construct the switching circuit of the following. First one is not P and Q or P and not R. So any one of these will be asked in the exam. So initially you have to write because switches are not uh, denoted by PQR. So you have to say, let PQR denote switches S1, S2, S3 be closed respectively. So not P, not Q, not R will denote that switches S1, S2, S3 are open respectively. Okay. So the switching circuits corresponding to the given statement patterns are right now. First one. Switching circuits corresponding to given statement patterns see before you draw the rough sketch first write that statement pattern not p and q or P and not R. See, this is the switching circuit. Basically, it is disjunction, so parallel combination. Of what? Series combination of not P and Q. Not P means S1 dash. Series combination with Q, so S2. And this is P and not R. So S1 in series with S3 dash. Now this is for second P and Q. So these in uh, series or so in parallel series combination of this not P. So S1 dash. And again, these are in parallel not Q or P or R. So S2 dash S1 S3. Now this is P and R or not Q and not R and not P and not R. This is the switching circuit for this statement pattern. Now this is the uh, switching circuit for this statement pattern P and not Q and R series combination. And in its parallel, this is P and not Q or not R. Now this is for P 
or not P or not Q or P and Q. Basically parallel a combination of P not P. So S1, S1 dash, uh, not Q means S2 dash. And last one is series combination of two switches S1, S2. Now this is the switching circuit for uh, which statement pattern? P and Q in series S1, S2 or not P. So S1 dash in parallel or this is series combination of S1 and S2 dash. So that's it for today.